Hello everyone, I'm FMZ and welcome to episode 11 of League One to Legend with Portsmouth. Today it is FA Cup quarter-final day. Bournemouth are the opposition in a South Coast derby. We've also got a couple of results to run through as well before we get into it. Don't forget, if you enjoy this content, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to click that notification bell to know when a new video goes up on the channel. And also, don't forget to leave me a comment if you've got anything to say. Let's get into those two results, shall we? We're following the result with Sunderland in the last episode. The link is up the top for that one. We beat Peterborough by four goals to one. Two goals for Ryan Williams. Two goals for Tom Bradshaw. Reese Brown coming up with the reply for Peterborough as we left London Road with all three points. We followed that up with a very close encounter at home to Ipswich Town. Neither side wanted to give anything away as it finished 0-0. But that result against Peterborough did send us top of League One. Level on points with Ipswich Town, but they do have a game in hand. But look at our goal difference. Plus 35 compared to plus 24, plus 27 and plus 17. That is far superior than the other three sides in the promotion hunt at the moment. Sunderland and Oxford, they are level on points on 73. Hull City have 64, then MK Dons have 63. That is the playoff picture at the moment. Although AFC Wimbledon are still in with a squeak of getting in, as are Plymouth. They have a game in hand over most of the sides above them, so they will be certainly looking to try and press home that as it starts to get towards the business end of the season. Shrewsbury on 52, they're still not out of it, theoretically. Neither are Rochdale and Swindon Town. And I suppose you could even include Doncaster in that argument on 50. And down at the bottom of the table, it's not as close as it is up the top, although it could get very interesting in the run-in. So we're going to bottom on 28. Gillingham and Fleetwood have got 31. They're second and third from bottom. Blackpool have got 32. Then there's a six-point gap to Burton Albion and Northampton. They have 38. Accrington Stanley and Crewe have got 39. Bristol Rovers have got 42. Then I suppose up from there, Lincoln, Peterborough and Charlton on 48 and 49 respectively. They're probably expecting to play League One football next season and I expect them to do so as well. But we concentrate solely on the FA Cup today. Bournemouth are the opposition. A chance to make it into the last four of the FA Cup. Let's take a look at the teams. So here are the two starting lineups for this quarterfinal. Bournemouth start with Travers in goal, Stacey, Mepham, Kelly, Rico, Cook, Lamina, Stanislas, Raquel May, Danjuma with the 10 up front. We start with Miguel Frey in goal, Bolton, Watmore, Nicolaisen, Daniels, Curtis, Close, White, Harness, Ellis Harrison with Tom Bradshaw leading the line. So there will be EFL representation in the last four of the FA Cup. But will it be us or will it be Bournemouth? Let us find out. Both sides playing exactly the same formation. 4-2-3-1 today. Obviously without John Marquist, Tom Bradshaw has stepped up to the plate. Will he do it on the big occasion? Let's find out. The two teams line up. We are ready for the off in this FA Cup quarterfinal. And it's Bournemouth to get us off and underway. Kicking from left to right, as they used to say back in the old days. They don't say that anymore, do they, commentators? Kicking from left to right. I suppose radio commentators have to, because they kind of have to tell you what they're doing. Anyway, another thought for another day. Stanislas with the corner. Chance to get Bournemouth in front very early on. Will we get it away? Yes, we will. Nicolaisen heads it clear. There's a corner to Portsmouth early doors. Charlie Daniels with the corner. Swings it in towards the far post, headed away at the far post by Cedric, and picked up by Cook as Bournemouth tried to break forward. Someone's got to go to the man with the ball. Ben Close, I'm looking at you, although he's gone beyond him. He's thrown on goal as Cook is a great run, but it's a great save as well. And he sends it down the field quickly, looking for Bradshaw. He's in between the two defenders. Bradshaw going through, needs a bit of help, and he hasn't got it. Cook whacks it down the field, looking for a 10. Watmore sends it back the other way with interest. Rico gets it in the air. You can tell it's a derby, can't you? Very scrappy early doors. Bolton up against Dan Juma. Curtis has it. Close into White. White into Close. On to Curtis, into Harness. Lovely ball through to Bradshaw. Will he get a shot away? He will, but it's well, well wide. Danislas with the corner for Bournemouth. 
Swings it in towards the centre. Kelly gets up in at the far post. It's off the line, but Mepham has put it over the line and Bournemouth lead by a goal to nil. We almost got away with it. But Chris Mepham was coming in to put Bournemouth ahead early doors. As we're not panicking, this happened against Liverpool. I am not panicking in the slightest, but we should have dealt with it a little bit better. Bolton tries to keep it off the line. Mepham puts it in the net 1-0. Right, let's have a little bit of encouragement. I think that's the best thing we can do at this moment. Close again into White. Looking wide for Ellis Harrison. Up against Stacey. He's gone beyond him. Stacey tried to hack him down. Plays it inside. Bradshaw takes a touch. Will he get a shot away? Harrison will. But he skewed it well, well wide once again. Got to get him on target, boys. Got to work the goalkeeper. Curtis comes down the field. Two on two at the moment. Or Lamina's coming back. Curtis is going through. Up against Rico. He's gone beyond him. Will he find a pass into Bradshaw? He'll roll it across for Bradshaw and he's rolled it into the net for the equaliser. You weren't going to miss that, were you, Tom? Absolutely not. Portsmouth 1, Bournemouth 1. It's a good breakout from the corner. Curtis up against Rico. Goes beyond him. In fairness, Rico did well not to bring him down. Ball across. Ball into the net. 1-1. One, one. Stacey with the throw. Throws it in towards the penalty area. Stanislas. He seems like the danger man at the moment. Raquel May playing it across to Cook. Raquel May once more. Cook again. Lamina with a shot. Blocked. Rico might have a go as well. He does, but he throws it wide. Coming across the field, is he? White has it. Plays it across to the far side where he finds Harness. Up against Rico. Comes inside of him. Will he get a shot away? He will, but he puts it over the bar. And that is half time. Bournemouth 1, Portsmouth 1. And it has to be said, Mark Travers hasn't had a save to make so far. He has picked the ball out of his net once, though, which is great news. But obviously, this is the FA Cup. It now finishes on the day. So if we need extra time and penalties, that is what is going to happen. Hopefully, we can finish it in the second half, though. Get it done in 90 minutes. That's always the best thing to do, isn't it? It's picked up by Rico. Plays into Lamina. Looking for Dan Schumer. It's been pretty quiet so far. McGillifrey should deal with that and does. Plays it across into Lamina. Plays it over the top. Looking for Dan Schumer. He's in behind. Saved by the keeper. Shouldn't have mentioned that he's been pretty quiet, should I? Commentators curse and all that. Stanislavs with the corner. Plays it in towards the centre. Headed towards goal. Saved by the keeper. Unmarked again from a corner. Can't have that. See? Keep pushing them back. Keep putting pressure on the ball. That's what we need to do at the moment. Dan Schumer's in behind, but Watmore's gone across towards him. Rico's with him. Got to try and stop the cross. We haven't, but he's headed over the bar by Stanislas. Harvey White is going to trot across to take that corner. Chance for us to potentially score from a set piece. Sends the ball into the middle, headed away by Mepham. Picked up by Stanislas. Bournemouth will look to break forward. We've got plenty back, though. We should be able to deal with that. Stanislav's come down the field. Close has gone to, across to try and deal with him and brings him down. Best thing to do. Plays it across into Cook. Down in towards Rico. Bolton has come across towards him. Got to stop the cross into the middle. Blocked. Oh, save. Harrison trying to go beyond Stanislav's, but Daniels picks the ball up. Plays it over the top. Looking for Harness. Gets the shot away early and it's gone wide. Unlucky. Nearly caught the keeper out. Right, we are going to have a look at a substitution as Jack Wilshire comes onto the field. We're going to take Harvey White off and we are going to bring on Andy Cannon. Right, into the last 20 minutes. Let's get a bit more encouragement on the field. Like to see those green smiles. There they are. Right, let's have a look at a change in the attacking third of the pitch. So Marcus Harness isn't having a great day. So Ryan Williams is going to come on. He's got a couple of goals recently as old Ryan Williams. So hopefully he can bag one here as Travers sends it down the field. Daniels should get there, but Stanislav flicks it on. It ends in behind. Nikolaisen's coming across to him. Good block. And Charlie Daniels hacks it away. See, Charlie Daniels up against his former club. I forgot to mention that. Stanislav with a corner again. Plays it towards the far post. Headed towards goal. McGillifrey tips it over the bar. Bournemouth are coming on strong in the last 10 minutes or so. so we're going to have a look at another couple of changes. There are a few tired legs out there. Ellis Harrison is going to come off. Jordi Hawulu is going to come on. Into four additional minutes. Extra time is looming, but Stacey has a throw for Bournemouth. As we try and head it clear, Wilshire heads it down. Pearson, don't let him swing it into the box, all right? Let him swing it into the box. Danjuma! Oh, that's annoying. That's very annoying. Why were we just standing there watching him? You've got to try and challenge him, and Danjuma looks like he's won it for Bournemouth in the 92nd minute. It is absolute heartbreak for us. Because we don't deal with the first ball. Pearson's allowed to swing it in. Bolton loses his man. Dan Schumer from no more than six yards puts Bournemouth back ahead. And now we have to go kitchen sink time. What's the point in trying to hang on to something that you haven't got, right? Let's go 4-2-4 for the last few minutes. 
very attacking. We might get one opportunity to get a second goal. Williams tries to flick it into the area. Cook sends it down the field. I think we are going to run out of time. And there it is, the full-time whistle. Bournemouth 2, Portsmouth 1. Our FA Cup dream dies at the vitality. Oh, so close to taking it to extra time. In fairness, we didn't really have many opportunities in the game. We didn't test the goalkeeper enough as we are dumped out of the FA Cup. But let us check and see where we'll drop back in next time. So what we will do, we will play Shrewsbury, we will play Rochdale, we'll play Wigan and Burton Albion. We will come back for that match at Stadium MK against the MK Dons, where hopefully we'll have a better idea of how the playoffs are going to look and also what's going to happen in the automatic places. And that is a very disappointing way to be dumped out of the FA Cup. Dan Juma did nothing the entire game, but that's what quality players do, I guess, and it shouldn't be forgotten, that FA Cup run. Obviously, beating Sunderland comfortably in round one was a great achievement. Knocking out Barrow, taking Ipswich out on penalties. That fantastic win against Oxford in round four. And obviously, culminating in knocking Liverpool out in round five. We just could not go one more today, unfortunately. So good luck to Bournemouth in the last four of the FA Cup. They are flying the flag for the EFL. And we wish them all the best. But we're back to league action next time around mk dons are the opposition as we close in on the end of the league one season will it be automatic promotion or will we have to settle for a place in the playoffs find out next time around if you've enjoyed today's video please leave a like if you haven't subscribed to the channel but like to do so please click that subscribe button down in the corner don't forget if you've got any comments to make on today's video please leave them below also don't forget my member of the passion for fm team the link to the discord is down in the description i'm also promoting the charity mind if you are suffering with your mental health through this global pandemic there are links down in the description where hopefully you can find the support that you need that was episode 11 of League One to Legend with Portsmouth. I will see you next time. Until then, thanks for watching. Goodbye.